What's up everybody? Long time no see. It's been a minute since I've done a drum video, so uh, got a couple of grooves I wanted to show you real quick. <clears throat> um, pretty simple actually, they're just based on the eighth note. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. If you don't know how to count an eighth note, that is how you count an eighth, eighth note. Um, two and four on snare drum. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and simple, right? Um, we all know that, I think, by now. Um, okay, the kick drum. Now, so this is the the skinny with this groove. So normally when we play simple subdivision grooves like this, um, you know, we usually play four bar phrases, right? You know, four measures, four bars. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Um, this is also 4-4, four, four, but it's going to be a two-bar phrase, meaning that we are going to play two bars, but there's going to be some different notes in each of those bars when it comes to the kick drum. And we're going to put those two bars together and loop them to create a groove. So, the first bar, the kick drum is going to be on 1, 3, and the and of 4. So, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. One and two and three and four and. All right. So if I put that together now with the with the top, it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Bar number two. The bass notes are on one, the three, and the end of three. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four. And. We all know that groove. We, if you've got some experience with drumming, you've probably played that beat a million times. Very simple eighth note groove. One and two and three and four and. Just like that. But now we're going to take those two bars and we're going to put them together and they'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. like that. So you just keep looping those and it makes a pretty simple, pretty fun kind of a groove. But it's a little bit different. It makes you have to think a little bit about what that bass note is doing. So here we go. I'm going to do it again. Just like that. All right. So I got another one that um, this one kind of just feels like one of those uh, those kind of grooves that you just kind of have in the back of your mind that, you know, when you're jamming, you know, it's just one that you can just pull out. You know, you can just have it tucked away in there somewhere and just pull it out. Um, this next one here, you can play it in two different ways, actually, um, by changing the ostinato, um, which is basically the, the rhythm of what you're going to be doing in your right hand. I'll show you that. Um, the beat is very simple. Um, eighth notes again. Eighth notes on the hi-hat, two and four on your snare drum again. Um, bass notes are going to be one and three and and three. So, or one and three, yes, but the and of one and the and of two are going to be this. So it's going to be one and and three. One and two and three and four and one and Two and three and four and one and two and three and two and one and two and three and two kind of a cool group. All right, so now if you change what you're doing with your right hand, your count is going to stay the exact same. The feel of the rhythm that you're going to play in the right hand is going to change the way this sounds completely. So we're technically with a straight eighth note, you're playing one and two and three and four. And we're going to make this kind of sound like a heartbeat. So we're going to play one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. It's almost shuffly. So 
it's still the same exact count, but it's two different ways that you can play that. And they sound completely different, but they're kind of fun. They're kind of cool to just, you know, kind of groove with. Pocket type grooves is what I would call them. So, um, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to try to uh, get some notations to this, um, or at least put the sticking uh, in the description so that you can remember how these go. Um, I don't currently have a program to uh, create notation that I can put into my videos, but I'm working on that. Um, so, uh, bear with me, please. Um, otherwise, let's learn how to count, people. That's just important as uh, being able to read notation is knowing how to count. So um, I cannot stress that enough. I tell my students that every single day, um, and I believe that with all my heart. Yes, you should know how to read notation. No, you should not have to depend on it. If you can count, you can follow anything. I promise you. I've been doing it all my life. So um, thanks for watching, and um, ring the notification bell. Hit subscribe. No, I am not an influencer. I do not get paid for my videos. This is free for everyone in the world to be able to see and hopefully learn from because what I want to do is build a drum community that uh, we just feed off of each other. You know, we can all teach each other, uh, share our craft. You know, that's, that's what we do this for. Um, so that's what I'm doing by, by putting these videos out. Um, you know, I, I get no monetary, uh, you know, anything from YouTube. I do this specifically because I want to share uh, what I know with others and hope that you uh, throw some comments in and share what you know with me because um, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. So uh, thanks again guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, try to get a cover or something out soon, but otherwise we'll see you in the next one. Peace.